see you. This is Mitchell from the network. Hey guys, let's take this for a spin, okay? So, uh, Miranda, your character is kind of a hipster, but you know, sort of brainy, but still sexy and approachable. And Cassidy, you're reading The Landlord, whenever you're ready. I, I, um, I'm sorry, one second. I thought I, I was reading Hannah. Did they give you the wrong sides? Um, no, it, it just says um, mid-30s. No, never mind, it's totally fine. Just give me one second to look it over. It's so, gonna be a minute. Yeah, I mean. uh, okay, got it, cool. Okay, perfect. Whenever you're ready, slate first. Hi, I'm Miranda DeLong. Hi, I'm Cassidy Harper. For what? Look, I need to talk to you about something. Okay. I need to borrow $1,400. Are you bananas? They're gonna kick me out of the apartment if I don't pay the back rent. I thought you were gonna get a roommate. I interviewed Craigslist people. One of them had a tarantula. <laughs> Isn't Ray's name still on that lease, huh? I have not talked to Ray in months. Well, I don't have it. Okay, well then do you have some boxes? because I'm gonna need to sleep under a bridge and I hear if you make a mattress out of them, it keeps you from getting frostbite. Do you think I have some secret vault someplace? You know I will pay you back. Oh, I know for a fact that you won't. <sighs> How are you gonna pay for next month's rent, huh? No, I think that you should come and live with me until you can save up some money. No, absolutely not. All right, all right, there's a liquor store across the street. I'm sure they have boxes. Why are you being so awful to me? An artist's life is like this sometimes, Mom. Do you think I'm so fulfilled working at a perfume counter? <sighs> By four o'clock, my right eye is switching. No, you know what's gonna happen to you? You're gonna end up marrying the first Terry slab who comes along who can pay oh. your bills. Is that what you wanna be? Somebody's concubine? You know what, forget it. I'm sorry I bothered you. Fine. But just until I get my shit together. Can I have a little cash just for now? Just for walking around, Benny? You're welcome. Are you going out? Yes. I'll be here any minute. Who? The guy I've been seeing. I met him at the gym. I thought you went to Curves. I switched. It smelled like soup. All right. No cigarettes. You are too trusting. You don't know this guy. What if he's another Dan Danielson? <laughs> the guy with the parrot? He was okay. I, I can't believe you remember him. That bird was aggressive. Look, just please, will you stay in well-lighted areas? Hello? Uh, okay, tell him I'll be right down. <sighs> there is a uh, low-fat stir-fry in the freezer. <sighs> Listen, just, I want you to stay here, and I want you to think about I want you to think about your future, okay? Does this look okay? Yes, you look hot. Okay, okay. All right, don't wait up. Ew, gross. I didn't think you'd still be here. I fell asleep. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Feeling better? 
I feel wretched. How was your date? It was nice. I actually have some good news for you. Am I getting a new daddy? <laughs> Man I was out with, he has a business, and he's hiring. So? Oh, dear Lord. Oh, come on, Cassie, it's a job. What did he do? He's in the diamond business. No, I don't want to be a sales lady. I don't know anything about jewelry. Oh, you are so ungrateful. Forget the card. No, you... uh, no, 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 I'll go. I'm sorry. Thank you. I appreciate it. You should go home. Get some sleep. You look terrible. But I know where you work. All right, so why waste all of that effort? I, Tell me. I don't know. I got freaked out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm going to assume that if you had my money, this little track meet wouldn't have happened. Look, I need like three, three days. Yes, okay, okay. Listen, when I agreed to loan you this money, I explained to you that you were actually borrowing it from my employer. Now, I assumed you were familiar with this reputation. Please explain a little pop. No, no, not, no one needs to explain anything to pop. Someone needs to explain to you that our repayment schedule is inflexible. Ask your friend Haram how pop feels about excuses. Hiram Gladstone? Mm hmm. Is there anything? Pop was the one that tied him up to the wolf habitat? Well, do you like animals? Huh? I'm adding two points a week. Come on. Yes. Man. If you're not, don't appreciate being made to run in these clothes. Whenever you feel like it. Is he open yet? God forbid. Would you have to answer the phone or something? I'd, I'd never forgive myself. Uh, we open at 10. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm looking for Barry. What can I do for you? I'm supposed to hopefully start working here today. Right. Sorry. Hi. hi. Sorry. Uh, come in. Cassidy. Alex. I'm supposed to ask for Barry. Uh, yeah, um, that's my father. I mean, he'll be out here in a minute to act weird and make you feel uncomfortable. Uh, how much do you know about the job? I know that this is your address and that I was supposed to be here at 10. I'm early. That's good, right? Yeah. Well, it's not complicated. Uh, basically, we have to take these stones and we get them to other shops in the neighborhood as discreetly as possible. We used to use a big security firm, but they kept getting robbed. There's actually gangs of Colombians who specialize in it. So now we do what they did 50 years ago. We hire a pretty girl that no one would suspect, and uh, she just puts them in her pocket and takes them where they need to go. Well, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> it's not. Well, what happens if I get robbed? Well, you just give it to them right away. Don't fight. We have insurance. How do you know you can trust me? I don't, but we have insurance. Hey, you must be Val's daughter. Cassidy. You're going to be great. What a beautiful girl you are. Why, thank you. You know, you 
have an amazing voice. Have you ever considered trying to do voiceover work? It's actually very lucrative. Thanks, but I have enough disappointment in my life already. <laughs> One thing, you can't dress like that. Like what? You look like Stevie Nicks and everything, but that's not what I want. A jean, simple. Uh, okay, got it. It's easy, misdirection, like the magician at a kid's birthday party. Get them to look a little birdie up here, take their wallet with the other hand. I, uh, I should mention, uh, I'm gonna need to leave from time to time for auditions. I'm sort of in demand right now. There's actually a cop show that I'm up for, but I'll, I'll keep you both in the loop. I'm sure we can figure it out. What about the insurance company? I left a letter on your desktop. There's no letter on my desk. On your computer desktop? We keep having this conversation. Efficiency. Every dollar you waste adds another day until I retire. Do good. Tell your mom I said hi. He seems okay. Uh, yeah, he's a doll. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, when you're not schlepping around, you can be here helping us with uh, doing filing stuff. I actually have a delivery for you right now if you're up for it. Yeah. You'll be going to Hatoum, which is 224 South Wabash. So, just put this in your pocket. Just be cool. That's it? Yeah. We already had you bonded. Just, um, sign here. What happened to the last girl that did this job? She was killed. In a robbery. <laughs> Wait, you... <laughs> <laughs> What's in the envelope? Uh, two diamonds. Worth how much? Uh, about 23.5. Shit. Why don't you come right back here afterwards? I have another delivery for you. Okay. Here I go. Wish me luck. Vaya con Dios. I like your earrings. Is that tourmaline? Sorry, me no English. Here, here, here. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, that's really it. I just bring the stuff to the other stores in the area when there's no deliveries, do a little computer stuff. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Mm. Well, uh, try to pick up a few things. You know, learning a trade, that could be really great for you. I have a trade, thank you. Oh, gross. Look at this picture that Tanya just posted to Instagram. It's actually sad. Oh, is that the Quantum Leap guy? Mm -hmm. She's really doing great, huh? Please, she did like one commercial. Well, it's a start. I'm actually thinking of going back out there myself. It'll be different this time. I'm in a much better place emotionally. Oh, you really want to subject yourself to another best defense? One time, eight years ago, we are still having this conversation. <laughs> well, it's a legitimate question. All right, we can talk about something else. Fine. So you and Barry, are you like serious? I don't know. We've only been on a few dates, but I like him. Yeah, he's funny. And he listens to me. He does, he doesn't, you know, he's not just waiting until the next time he has to talk. And he's old fashioned. He always grabs for the check. I thought a modern woman should always pay her own way. Oh, no, it's too emasculating that way. Yeah, it makes it hard for him to be the aggressor. Oh, God, Mom, please stop. Oh, you know, sometimes it would be nice to get a little support from you for once. You're right. Tell me about his dick. Is it thick? What? Veiny. What? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Come on, Valerie. Can we please get the fingerprints on the glass? I mean, it looks like somebody's been eating ribs over here. Sure, Wendy. Dude, you gotta get out of here. <laughs> no, I am not starting from the bottom again. I've got nine years till Social Security. If I don't die from inhaling Shalimar, I'll be fine.
use the stuff from Meyer, and I already filed the stuff from Algonquin. Huh. You got this down. Well, I did go to college. And what'd you study? Theater. Uh, I don't think that counts. The fruits of your labor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Barry, Barry, um, are you sure this is right? What did you think it was going to be? Well, um, we never actually talked well, about... Well, now you know. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. This is pitiful. How am I supposed to... Saving for something important? I don't even... Hey, will you teach me something about... I don't know, this stuff. What do you want to know? I don't know. Um, show me the difference between diamonds. OK. Come over here. Stay here. <sighs> Fucking FICA. Each part of the diamond has a name. The top half is called the crown, the bottom is the pavilion, the point at the bottom is the cuet, and then the flat part on top is called the table. How much is this one worth? This is a five carat diamond, um, ideal cut, hearts and arrows, GS1 color, retails around 180. Dude, seriously, you guys have that much money? It's all credit. We get stones in on memo, we sell what we can, and we return the rest. My dad could liquidate and retire. Believe me, he would. Uh, I gotta say, this looks like all the other ones. Maybe a little bigger. No, it has no inclusions. But those are the little flaws that interfere with the light that passes through the diamond. I don't approve of that kind of perfectionism. I think flaws should be embraced. Yeah? Mm hmm If I ever get engaged, I hope my fiance gives me a ring that's all flaws. Hmm. Well, as long as he buys it from me. Um, I should put this back. Would you mind getting that? My Butch Cassidy Harper, as I live and breathe. What are you doing here, Ray? I am interested in some expensive and vulgar jewelry. Hey, 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 is everything okay? Who the fuck is this then? That's my boss. Oh, fucking mine, man. What the fuck are you? Oh, look at this, a tough guy. That bat better have a little gun in it. Ray, you need to go. No, 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 let him stay. I pushed the button for the alarm. The, the cops will be here any minute. They'd love to kick the shit out of him. Ray, I work here. Why would you come here? How did you find me? I don't know. I saw you walking downtown this afternoon and sort of followed you. What the fuck, Ray? Do I need to get a restraining order? No, of course not. I would... Oh, fuck! Sorry, Cass, really, I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to talk. Is that what you call me? Go. Sorry, sorry, boss man. Not her fault. I'm an idiot. She said go. Okay. Okay, sorry, Cass. What? Sorry, Cass. Please call. There's some stuff I need to say, okay? Okay. I'm leaving. It's good to see you. I am so sorry. Not your fault. I don't need my radioactive life contaminating your office. God damn him. Uh, look, it's okay. Really, really, it's 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 no big deal. Hmm. How about we go get dinner? Yeah, I'm starving. Come on, I'm buying. You don't need to do that. No, I want to. I'm gonna go get my coat. Don't move. Stay here. <sighs> Believe me, I'm not hanging around here waiting to take over the family business. <laughs> Forgive me, but I'm aiming for something higher than that. I've got a couple things going on right now. Yeah? Yeah, some businesses I'm trying to start up. I'm actually working on something huge, actually. I want to tell you about it, but you, you, you can't talk about it, especially with my dad and your mom, too, I guess. Oh, of course. Okay, so I was in the Caribbean last year, mm -hmm. and I went to this island called Dominica, and they make this incredible rum there, like insanely delicious, and the legend is, is that it even helps men, you know. Get raging boners? Basically. Does it work? Um, yes. <gasps> Liquor and boners sound like the kind of thing old white dudes would be really into. I know, right? Can you get the eagles in there somehow? Look, if this thing takes off, I could be sitting on a giant pile of money, like a fucking fortune. Okay, but 
But Customs seized it at the airport because the secret ingredient wasn't exactly legal. <laughs> so I've got 80 cases sitting in a Homeland Security warehouse at O'Hare. Oops. Yeah, I talked to a lawyer who said he could help, but he wants 15,000 up front as a retainer and then like another 80K to get it approved. Every dollar I could borrow went to buying this shit. I, I need more than just taking a little bit out of each paycheck. I need a score. Oh, a score. You're gonna knock over a 7-Eleven or something? I wanna talk to you about something. And I want you to know that you can say no, and I'm not gonna get mad or fire you or anything. But I have a way that we could make some serious money. But it's shady. I'm not necessarily opposed to shady. So let's say you're making a delivery, and let's say you get robbed. Well, the insurance company pays out the loss so the business doesn't get hurt. Okay. But let's say when you get robbed, instead of giving the robber the stones you were carrying, you give him some dummy package. You know, he thinks he's getting the stones, but he's actually getting things. And I keep the real ones. That's right. And then I sell them, and we split the money. Couldn't we just say I got robbed and do the same thing? These insurance people, they don't fuck around. It has to be real. We need a police report, hopefully an eyewitness. If you get caught defrauding an insurance company, it's no joke. I'm talking orange jumpsuit time. You don't get to go play tennis in Wisconsin. But if the robbery is real, then nobody is defrauding anyone. The robber just gets something that is invaluable, and the insurance company pays us such a small amount that it's just like a blip on their radar. It's virtually a uh, victimless crime. Thanks. Here's the thing, though. I need you to get robbed. I mean, I could hire somebody to do it, but then we would have to cut him in. Plus, he could get picked up for something else, and then he could wrap me out. We gotta minimize our risk. Couldn't I just be super obvious when I'm making my deliveries or something? That would take too long. It's gotta be somebody who knows what you do for a living, is a little sketchy, and would maybe break the law to make some extra money. Oh my god, Ray. How much of a dirtbag is he? No, 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 he wouldn't do it. Why? What does he do? He's a pretty unsuccessful drug dealer. I could see why he wouldn't want to mess with that. He likes me. He's not going to rob me. How hard can it be for a professional actress to convince a drug dealer to do something immoral? <laughs> oh, what a big <laughs> kid. <laughs> I like that. I got to say, you don't look much like a handleman. <laughs> well, truth be told, I'm not. My dad changed our name when he got into the business, so uh, people would take him more seriously. We used to be the Campbells. Seriously? Yep. How could you let him do that? Well, I was like two. They didn't <laughs> consult me. <laughs> yeah. This is, oh my God. Oh my God, this is totally gonna work. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna make it happen. I'll I'll call Ray in the morning. Maybe I try to make him think that if he had money, I'd take him back. I'm not even sure that's a lie to tell you the truth. Will that work? Well, Ray's a fuck up, but he loves me, and apparently, I am a terrible person. I don't think we should do this. Just not right now, okay? I just think we need to keep our, our, our heads on straight. Keep clear-headed right now, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying no at all. Just just not now, okay? Yeah. Totally. Um, thank you for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> What do you have? <clears throat> this is a fake. Chain is brass. This is glass. Mm -hmm. Real. Ish. 
And what do you mean, ish? Oh, uh, there's a ton of flaws. Essentially, it's a really shitty diamond. Thank you, thank you. I know what the word flaws means. How much? 400. Ew. Let's do 800. Unless you'd rather go down to the tip top and talk a little pop directly. You take all the cash and just give it to him. You don't put any in your pocket. What happens on my end is none of your fucking business. Look how long we've been doing this, huh? You and I, we make decent walking around money out of this arrangement or it doesn't work. Don't be greedy. I'll give you 550, but that's it. Damn. Shit, dude, what they say about your people is true. That were excellent dancers? <laughs> no, that's far-fetched. Okay, 1650, including the bracelet? Yep. It's 10.30. Uh, thank you. One of you go get the car, please. You got a bear from I can use? No. Hold it. Come on, man. Be a fucking pro. Your bathroom right down the hall. I'm teaching them a lesson in self-control. <clears throat> it's 2,600. I must have contracted some exotic parasite that affects my hearing. I can't buy all this stuff and pay you. But if you give me until Friday, I can do both. Alex, no, you realize you're only paying the points. You're not even touching the principal. Spare me the economics lesson, okay? You stupid little bitch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you have some oh. terrible manners for somebody asking for a favor. I right, see, now I have to go to Pop and ask him to be patient because you're a spendthrift, motherfucker. Dude, you are setting yourself up for a conversation with a person with a more limited vocabulary than mine. So I run back inside and, and grab a box, like, like a shoe box, and put a t-shirt in the bottom of it, and come back outside and gently lift this little guy up and put him in the box. I should remind you that I'm fucking terrified of birds, like Tippi Hedren and other stress. Yeah, I remember when that pigeon chased you off the bench. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, I gently lift this little guy up and put him in the box, and he is so small. I mean, he weighed like nothing, like, like colored air, that I have this, this swell of love, like, like a father's love for it. <laughs> anyway, so, so I, I lift the little guy up and I put him in the box, and I bring the box inside and put the box by the window with the sun shining on it, try to warm him up a bit. I'm feeling like St. Francis, you know, all heroic. And I look up the number for animal control, I think mm -hmm. it's called. Yeah. I tell them, I've got an injured bird that flew into my window. And of course, yes, you can have that. Of course, they think I've gone gorilla tits, and they tell me there's nothing I can do about it. You know, just make sure he's in a safe place, and he'll either get better or he won't, which means, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So I go back inside and go over to the window, and the box is empty. <gasps> what the fuck? That's when I hear this noise, like this, it's like low, growly noise, like. Oh, my God. oh, God. oh God. Yeah, I forgot Joe has a cat, Mortimer. Manky little thing stays under the bed all day. I swear, I've seen him twice since I moved in. And Mortimer is batting this poor little bird around the apartment like Jimmy oh, fucking God. Connors. Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> so I run over to get the cat off of him and trip on Joe's punsy fucking skateboard and bang my arm on the radiator. Yeah, that's how I did it. A fractured wrist. Poor buddy. Well, he was pretty badly hurt to begin with. I probably just hastened his mice. I meant you, dummy. Yeah, well, patron sands have lost causes. Long shots. You know that thing's been expunged from my record now. Come on, man! Get on! Come on! Fucker! Hey! Put your hands on again! Apparently he got his vision back in that eye, so that's a bonus. Yeah, 60 hours of anger management. It actually helped. Apparently my anger is born out of frustration. What about art? I've made some stuff. Yeah? Working mostly construction. Almost full time, making decent coin for once. In fact, your eggs are on me. I actually got it covered. I have a new job too, as you know. Yeah, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. What do you do there, anyway? Can you keep a secret? No. Well, then I'm not gonna tell you. My hand to God. All right. I'm a runner for a diamond importer. No way. <laughs> what exactly is that? Well, I basically walk around downtown by myself delivering diamonds. You're kidding. No security? Do you carry a pistol? Just me and my wiles. Yeah. Anyway, they're they're insured out the waz. First sign of danger, I'm supposed to drop the stuff quick. Jesus. I don't know. I feel like I should get a friend to stage a robbery, keep the diamonds for myself. God knows I could use the money. 
A little financial stability would solve like 98% of my problems. Well, if you get caught, I know three shitty lawyers and an excellent bail bondsman. You're late. I'm early. It's eight minutes till. Are you sure? Am I fast? Well, this thing gets its time from space, so... What do you got for me today? Three this morning. I don't know about this afternoon. Okay, I'm gonna need to take an early lunch. I have an 11.30 audition. I'm sorry, are these hours too taxing for you? Should I have another courier standing by on salary in case you have scheduling problems? What's the matter? Uh, I, I have an audition, a really big one. What do you care? No, just tell me how it's going to work now that we're in second position to the young lady's dreams. Are you going to be schlepping stones again? Am I going to be doing this and running around like a Bill Hire? If our creditors show up today, I'd be in an audition of my own at the bottom of the Chicago River! It's her lunch hour. What, are we running a plantation here? Go. Big Look, shot. Thank you. You're, uh, you're going here first, 722 State Street, 12th floor. So how'd it go? Did you talk to him? Yeah, I just I just had breakfast with him. I laid the foundation. Just the foundation? Well, it's in motion. I can't oversell it. Okay. Take this. What's this? It's uh, the dummy stone. It's called moissanite. It's really hard to tell the difference even for a pro. Well, what am I supposed to do with it? Keep it in your pocket at all times, always, every delivery. When he finally decides to take the bait or, you know, has somebody else do it or whatever, then you give him this one. Okay. And you swallow the real one. Swallow it? I'm kidding. Sorry. Uh, anyway, just keep it on you. Well, on a different pocket. I don't need it yet. I no, just no, I want you to get in the habit. You never know when it's going to come, okay? You, let's practice. Stick them up. Stick, I'm serious. Stick them ah. up. Give me the stones. Okay, okay, okay. That's the real one. No, it's not. Okay. Yes, it is. You, look, from now on, always keep the real one in your right pocket. Okay, sorry. We're not gonna have multiple shots at this. Get your, get your head in the game, okay? I'm sorry, I'm being a little harsh. Okay. okay, let's get it. I don't want to disrespect anything. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not it. Uh, mm -mm. Hold on a second. Like, we're going to need more energy than that. A lot, considerably more. Yeah, bring it up. So do it again. Yep, anytime okay. you're ready. Okay. <clears throat> and now. What time did your husband come home that night? She even looked like a cop? No, way too hot. Yeah. Um, and she looks like she parties. Maybe. Yeah, I think she probably does. You do, right? You party? A little bit? <laughs> yeah? It's all right. So we'll see some of that, huh? A little you're, of that energy? Bring it up? You're among, you're among friends. Oh, yeah. Well, do this with energy. What time did your husband come home that night? Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I do. Yes. Your mother's making me lasagna tonight. You gonna join us for dinner? No, don't worry. I'll be out till at least 11 or 12. Oh, you won. See in the funny pages. You, I need those tax forms for October by tomorrow. Yep. He's so warm, isn't he? What are you up to tonight? Uh, I'm actually going out with Ray. Oh, nice. You gonna dial it up a bit? I told you I'm working on it. You know, I have to admit, I'm not thrilled about the idea of you going out with him. Well, it was your idea. Yeah, well, 
a lot of my ideas are fucked. I thought we weren't doing this. Downstairs, I gotta go. Have a terrible time. What is that? What this hat? I think it belonged to my uncle. No, dummy, that thing you're leaning against. Oh, that. That is a finely tuned automobile that I recently acquired. Holy shit! You bought a car? In fact, I did. Told they call it Cadillac. How? Where? That lot on Cicero with the big inflatable eagle. Low credit, no credit? That commercial is so fucking depressing. And yet their open-mindedness about credit histories is everything they said it was. How much? Never. Get in. Yeah, but I think a fat person used to drive it, though. It's a bit lumpy over there. <laughs> Look. I have to admit, purchasing this automobile has left me a bit cash poor at the moment. I intend to show you what an excellent cheap date looks like. Bring it on. You should probably put your seatbelt on. I learned to drive on the other side of the road. <laughs> this place is incredible. Yeah, it's a dead. My old roommate Jeremy had an eel. Came here with him once. I don't understand the idea of a fish as a pet. It's not enough action for me. That's you, all action. Actress by day, diamond courier by day also. <laughs> that was work, by the way. Fine. I uh, can't believe they let me walk around with that kind of loot. I did a uh, delivery today of a stone that was worth $55,000. Yeah, yeah, just walking it around in my pocket. Can you imagine what we could do with that kind of money? Are there stories to people get robbed all the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens all the time apparently, but I'm just supposed to give up everything. Don't fight, don't run. Jesus. Please be careful. If anything happened to you, I just, ooh. Maybe I could do some bodyguarding for you. Oh, you Pro bono, of course. You know, just follow you around, discourage anyone getting froggy. Ooh, or, or, I could just carry you around in a baby Bjorn. Nothing like weird or anything. <laughs> what is that for? Nice. I'm not sure. You said anything I pick. Well, this look transitions well from day to evening. I mean, she was so happy when she first got the part. You know, I mean, she told everybody. And of course, we had this huge going away party. So what happened? Well, the last day of shooting, she had this giant scene, right? I mean, big monologue, lots of words. She couldn't get out of the makeup chair. <laughs> I mean, she just froze, completely paralyzed. That's awful. Yeah. I, I, and, and the producers were screaming at her agents, and she could hear them. I mean, it was a disaster. Do you have a nine volt battery? Oh. Um. Oh, thank you. 
Um, I also have a light in the bathroom that's too high for me. Let's do it all. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we finally got enough Valium in her to stumble to the set, but it was a mess. And then, of course, I mean, when they picked up the series, they recast her part. That must have been tremendously difficult. Oh, God, she was devastated. Then she had to come back here, right, and face everybody. See, I think that's why she can't give this whole acting thing up. I mean, she's got to save face, and she's got to prove to herself that she can do it. Plus, I don't think she even knows what else to do. No, I meant difficult for you, seeing your kid in that kind of pain, struggling. I had to pull Alex out of Little League because it was making me anxious. I threw up in the dugout once. <laughs> Kept getting struck out as a poor fielder. He did get hit by a lot of pitches. You don't talk about him much. Mm. He hates me. Oh, he does that. Yeah, he does. When his mother died, I kind of overcompensated with the tough love thing. My pop was a second-rate auto mechanic with a short temper. We didn't talk about feelings much. Oh, you're being hard on yourself. Every parent feels things like this. You know, he knows that you love him. Either way, he's grown, he lived. Now I get to figure out the rest of my life. <laughs> so it's on the agenda. I've got plans. Small plans. I like plans. Good. You know, I think Joe might move out soon. I know you're real happy on your mom's couch and Ray. all. Ray! I know. I know. I get excited. It's nice. I don't mean this to be shitty, but it... <laughs> It really seems like you've uh, done some growing up in the last couple months. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I had this counselor at anger management who said, uh, start acting like the person you want to be and soon you'll become that person. But that's terrible advice. I think acting like the person I wanted to be was what made me such a shithead. You know, I trapped myself into believing that I had to be the person that the 18-year-old me thought was cool, but it turns out the 18-year-old me was an idiot. <laughs> you were just trying to be cool. You're an artist. Yeah, I love making stuff, I do, but I think what I wanted more than anything was to be different than normal people somehow. Mm -hmm. You know, to get noticed, like, ooh, isn't that what's-his-name over there? Just need to be busy. Busy's happy. Yeah, you're right. I care about all that stuff, too. It's so stupid. Can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. You're still getting those panicky things? A lot lately. I should get some pills. No, I forget that. I mean, I know a guy, obviously. But there's this thing I've been doing when I get mad or punchy, whatever. It really helps. I made it up. You want to try it? Is it gross? No, shut <laughs> up. God. <laughs> now sit Indian style. Not cool, pale face. Christ, sit in the style of people from India, okay? <clears throat> now close your eyes. <laughs> no laughing, no laughing. <gasps> this is sorry, serious. Sorry, okay, okay, okay. First, try to be very small. Like a marble of energy floating around inside your body. Then shrink to a speck of light. Now here's what I tell myself. You are a tiny germ on a dirty rock, spinning at a thousand miles an hour and orbiting a star. That star is just one of hundreds of billions in the Milky Way, which itself is one of hundreds of billions of galaxies in the known universe. You do not matter. No one is watching. You are free. That's the most depressing thing I have ever heard. That's great news. You're no. inconsequential. You can do whatever you want. I mean, think about it. In the face of all that nothingness, what is there to be worried about? What other people think? Fear and anger are ego problems. But you, you do not matter. No one is watching. You're free. You do not matter. No one is watching. You are free. 
And you just snap your finger, baby. And I did what you wanted me to do. Up so early. I'm a working man. I work in exchange for money that I use to procure both goods and services. Outright services. <laughs> You're such an asshole. Listen, steal anything you'd like. I wouldn't eat what's in the fridge, though. It's really more decorative than anything else. <laughs> Shut up. Come on. Bye. <laughs> Are you alive? That's why I'm calling. I'm sorry I didn't come home. You're a grown-up. But it'd be nice if you'd called. I'm apologizing. Would it be intruding if I asked where you are? Yes. That I'm at Ray's. Uh-huh. I don't know, Mommy. He's made lots of changes. I'm... Honestly, I'm really happy when we're together. <laughs> the only thing I want is for you to be happy when you're alone. I wish I was. I get so sad when I'm by myself. Me too, sometimes. The truth is that everyone and everything else is just fleeting. It's just a blurry landscape out the window of a speeding train. Jeez, it's not that bad, is it? Can't I be on the train with you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course. You have always been my traveling companion. You remember that time? <laughs> When we took the bus to Madison and I threw up on Daddy's overcoat? God, he, he was so mad at me that day. I wouldn't let him bring a flask. You never talk about him. I don't think about him that much. I mean, he was only in my life for eight years and he's been gone for three times that. Wow. I'm so weird. I kind of wish he was around now, though. It'd be fun to have something to look forward to or someone to look forward with. You have lots to look forward to. And so do you, sweetie. I mean, Cassie, you are so bright. You could be anything you want. I told you I'm going to L.A. And I told you I'm up for that cop show. It could be a really big deal. I'm making it all happen. You'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I got to go because uh, my cereal's getting gloppy. Okay? I love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Julie. Bob said you wanted to see me. Yeah, I have some bad news. Shit. I'm sorry, Ray. You're a real hard worker, but the locals busted my boss. I'll join the union. I tried twice already. I'm sorry. If I need some extra hands, I'll give you a call. But right now, I don't have anything for you. Well, that's just fucking great. I'll go stand outside Home Depot. Good luck, Ray. Hi. Morning. Hey, morning. How was last night? Did you make any progress? Uh, I don't know. Is it your dad here? He's out. What do you mean you don't know? We need to find someone else. Why? Well, he's not going for it. You're supposed to convince him. I tried. Yeah, I bet. What's that supposed to mean? You're wearing the same clothes you left in last night. That's none of your business. What about L.A.? Did you come up with some other career plan I don't know about? I can't make him do it. Yes, of course you could. But you don't want to because you like him. I am sorry. I have feelings for you, Alex. I do, but Ray and I have a lot oh, of Oh, please, all right? Don't flatter yourself. Look, we can still figure it out, right? We just, it just can't be Ray, okay? No, it's not okay. What are you bringing to this arrangement? Look, if you want a piece of this, you're gonna have to do something. I know that's not your thing. Fuck you. You don't know anything about me. You know what? Take that. I 
shouldn't he be setting you up right now? He could just have some dope waiting for you right outside that door? No, no, he wouldn't do that to me. So you say, but he's not gonna warn you if he is gonna do it, right? It's possible. You girls still work at Tattoo Post? No, she works down at Jewelers Row now. No shit. I'll keep an eye out. Take care, bro. Yeah. Let's get out of here. possible, right? Technically. So just hold on to it, okay? You never know. But you have to be ready every time you leave. This is gonna work, Cassidy. But you're gonna have faith, okay? Hey, will you meet me somewhere? Somewhere where you won't see anyone you know? Where's that? Fuck pop. Anything that's worth real money, he takes to Canada through Soup St. Marie himself. He's got some guy in Toronto who fucking resells it in China. Hmm, oh shit. And I was told there was opportunity for growth. You know, I was told that this was an organization that likes to promote from within, you know? Mm -hmm. No, there is no organization. It's just one old ass thief with tuna breath just getting over on reputation. Now it's time I start to look out for myself. You know, I'm not doing this when I'm 30. All right, let's do it. I'll give you 25% of whatever I sell it for. Hell no. You'll give me 50. That's ridiculous. Well, we aren't negotiating. Fine, 35. But you have to wait for my go-ahead, okay? We mm -hmm. gotta make sure that she's got enough honor to make it worth it. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I should just rob her on my own. Yeah, keep the diamonds and tell you to go fuck yourself. You mm. wouldn't you wouldn't do that. Yeah, why not? Because well, for one, you you would have no idea how to sell a loose diamond without getting arrested. And secondly, because despite your job, fundamentally an ethical person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry for just barging in. Are you kidding me? You have an open invitation. I'll get your key. I had to get out of the apartment. Barry is there like all the time now. All he does is drink warm club soda and swear at the local news. Do you want a drink? Yeah, um, I'll take a beer if you've got one. Uh, I think I have a few daisy cutters. At least they're going away for the weekend. It'll be nice to have the place to myself for a few days. Who? Mom and Barry. He's taking her to Lake Geneva. Nice. Yeah. Does that mean we get to play house? Oh, God, dude. I cannot handle being at my mom's anymore. Please come here. I'll leave you be. You can stay in the other room. Just give a knock when you want some action. <laughs> We have to eat, dummy. How much money do you have in the bank right now, anyway? Plenty. The cop, pussy, let me in! Yeah. Yeah, well, if you quit, if you quit being a big giant baby about it, maybe I'll get you some, too. Yeah, sure. Hey, no, but don't wear those espadrilles, all right? They're gross. What's good? Hey, sorry, so I, I can't really hang out. I just came to grab and This is this. Cassidy. Uh, Cassidy, this is my friend, Crosby. Hi. He's Irish. Hi. Nice to meet you. Um, sorry. Uh, so I just came to p pick up my stuff. The tools. The yeah, tools. The tools. Now, one sec. Putting up a spice rack. So, just probably the screwdriver and um, the shears and other shit. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Um, my friend Stefan, he was just saying that he was actually thinking of doing some remodeling as well. So, do you think that you have any tools he could I borrow? I cannot believe this. I am an idiot. So much for the new you. Cassidy, it's, it's not what it looks like. Shit. I, I got fired. I'm sorry. You want money? You want to go to LA? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not sitting around feeling sorry for myself, pretending some lottery ticket's about to come in. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't share your Protestant work ethic. Selling Adderall to tweakers is really inspirational. Cass, I didn't mean to- See you later. Yikes. Um, hey, do you really have that Adderall though? Cause the Ritalin gave me the squirts. Hey, honey, how you doing? I 
thought you were going to Lake Geneva. Just finishing a couple of things. So, what do you got for me today? I got one. Just give me a minute to get the package together. Is this a silent treatment? Mm. Just working. Westerman. Westerman? Where's that? On Harrison, just this side of the river. Hustle, they're expecting you. I gotta get going. Alex, do not forget the alarm. Mm -hmm. What do you want from me? Nothing, okay? Nothing. There are people who actually do shit, and there are people who just talk shit. Go make your delivery, please. <clears throat> Hello. Vikram, hey. What are you looking for? Uh, Three-quarter carat. Let me check the inventory. Cassidy? Cassidy, it's Patina. Hi, Patina. Get over to Sullivan. Call back for the cop show. Uh, right now? No, I, 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 I haven't even seen the side yet. Arlene Thompson is only in town for one uh, day. Uh, well, can they... I'm kind of in the middle of something. Can you see me this afternoon? You can go right now, or I can send someone uh, no, else. Uh, yeah, of course, I understand. Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Thank you. Tom and Arlene from Network. This is Cassidy Harper. Hi, thank you for having me back. I'm, I'm really excited about the part. The script is great. Okay, Cassidy, slate whenever you're ready. Hi, I'm Cassidy Harper. So, you're the new detective. Yeah, name's Donahue. Says here your name's McDougal. That's right. So, which one is it? Oh, it's both. Donahue McDougal. Oh, that's some name. Rich your um, file. Uh, no, sorry, an Irish cop, right? I read your file. Ten years in narco. Yeah, there isn't a junkie on the west side that I don't know on a first name basis. Well, let's go meet your new partner. Copy that. Thanks, Cassidy. Nice job. <laughs> Seriously, nothing from you guys? Is that what you had in mind, or were you, I don't know, thinking of something else? No, that is fine. I'm, I'm very sorry to interrupt your important conversation. Cassidy? Today. Honestly, honey, I think we are uh, looking for a different type. Like 26, big tits, veneers. Cassidy? Brave choice. Brave choice. Let me guess, is the Stop. partner a black guy about to retire or a St. Bernard? Okay, I, I'm so sorry. Do we call security? Uh, no, she's not, too old. Uh, you should be fine, she's just like, oh, fuck you! Whoa, that's a first. Hi, Bettina. What the fuck were you thinking? That was a network television show. I know, I was out of line, but they were really rude to me. Who are you? The Queen of Sheba? You know what? I think we're done. What do you say? I mean it. We're through. Come on, Bettina, this is my career. Oh, honey, be honest with yourself. What career are you talking about? Other than the pilot, which we know how that went, you have booked an industrial and a radio commercial in five years. 
I mean, you gave it a shot. It didn't happen. It's time to move on and do something else with your life. No, please, please, you were overreacting. I will go back there right now and I will apologize. Tell them I'll be there in a minute. I'm sorry, I've got to take this. It's time to move on, honey. Good luck to you. There, I'll explain later. Fuck you too. Stay right, fucking dead, count to 50. If I see you look, I'm gonna come back and put a bullet in your head. Harper, here's my card. Just call me if you can think of anything useful. Let's catch these assholes, okay? I feel better. Thank you for being so nice to me. <laughs> Thank you, officer. So what happened? These two guys beat me up, ripped my pocket off. I didn't have a chance. Damn it! You were supposed to be ready! They want me to stay overnight. They think I have a concussion. Is your mom coming back? She's not answering her phone. Yeah, neither is my dad. Look, I have to ask you. Do you think the guys were with Ray? No. He wouldn't let anyone hurt me. Well, how do you know for sure? Were they, were they white? Were they black? Someone knew, right? Someone knew what you were carrying. I had a plastic bag over my head. I couldn't see anything. What do you want from me? Everything okay in here? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll keep trying your mom, okay? Can I call somebody for you, sweetie? All right, now I want to see some bodies. Let's go. Hurry up. There it is. Get them legs together. Get them legs together. Good, good. Again. What are you doing here? How'd you find me? I have an internet connection. You're not in the CIA. Now tell me you have my diamonds. Oh yeah, Alex. I don't have time for this right now, okay? I'll make time. Do you think you can just come up in my house and start barking orders? Do you? Boy, I have 20 third graders waiting in a gym for me to teach them karate, and any one of them can beat your ass. That's right. Now imagine what I could do. Just tell me, you have my diamonds or not? Alex, you have until tomorrow to get Pop's money, okay? Look, what is this? You wanna be a gangster? Hmm? Cause you about to find out what real gangster shit looks like. Family only and visiting hours are oh, over. I'm, I'm no, okay. sir, people are sleeping. It's family only. Cassidy! Family only, man. Cassidy! You don't walk. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's awful. Cassidy! Family only. You can't please, go down there. Please, sir, fuck off. Cassidy! Come here. Oh. I got beat up. Oh, fuck. Are you okay? Your arm? I'm okay. Broken wrist, maybe cracked ribs, this thing on my head. What time is it? I don't know. 9.30. Tell me what happened. That means two and a half hours till my next pill. That is some bullshit! Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Lie down. Lie down. Can you remember what happened? 
Yeah, two stupid boys pushed me into the alley and ripped my pants. I love those pants. Okay, it's okay. What do you need? Ice? Uh, an extra blanket or something? Look at us, we're twins. <laughs> God, who's uh, gonna take care of us, huh? We're all broken up. I will. You just relax, okay? I'll take care of everything. No, no, no. We need a grown-up. I'm sorry about before. Are you mad at me? No, of course. I'm not mad, stupid. <laughs> I'm tired. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, visiting hours are over. You can come back tomorrow. Sunshine. Mm. How you feeling? Dreadful. What time did you get in? A couple hours ago. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't even check my phone until almost midnight. Didn't need to come. I'm fine. Oh, right. I'm, I'm going to be getting hot stone massages while you're here in the hospital. <laughs> How's the arm? Mm, it hurts. Want me to go out there and do the Shirley MacLaine? <laughs> I will pay you five bucks, please. <laughs> Barry's beside himself. He thinks he's responsible, which I told him is nuts. And he wants you to know that, uh, of course, their insurance is going to take care of everything. And he said he'd pay you until you get back on your feet again. That's nice of him. He's a good man. In fact, um, I have some exciting news. So Barry last night says to me that he is really ready to retire and he, he wants to go down to Fort Myers as soon as possible. And he's asked me to go with him. What did you say? What do you mean? I said yes. Just like that? You're going to spend your golden years with Barry? I am going to go to Florida with Barry and I'm going to make a real life for myself. Yes. Do you love him? I think I could. So you're settling? You are too old to be so naive. It's all settling. There are no rich princes. Nobody ever becomes a, an astronaut or a ballerina. I mean, listen to me for once, please. All you have to do is you have to find some way to be useful and, and maybe loved and, and, and find somebody that maybe you can share some laughs with. That's all there is. Cassidy, what's so terrible about having a regular life? I'm going to go down to Florida. And I am going to sit in the sun until I look like an old shoe. And you're going to see how happy I am. It's going to be OK. We never let a runner go out on the street with that kind of inventory. I'm supposed to hire an armored car for three stones? When they're worth $482,000, you are. They're never going to pay us. You know that, right? They have to pay us. It was a robbery. She got beat up. There's a police report and a witness. We're insured on courier transactions up to a half million. It's fishy as fuck. The hell with it. I don't care. Excuse me? I'm retiring. I'm moving to Fort Myers with Valerie. <laughs> You're kidding. This is as good a time as any. If there's a business left, it's all yours. I wash my hands. You can afford to retire? I do not need much. I found a little place. And if the insurance company decides not to pay off? Then you're going to need a job. But hello, Florida. Maybe I should just stay home. Come on. 
It's Judy's 60th birthday. She's gonna be crushed if you don't go to her party. Look, it is a broken wrist. Ray is perfectly capable of keeping an eye on me. Through three inches of plexiglass. Coming! Hello, Raymond. Hello, Miss Harper. Uh, no, call me Valerie. Yes, Mom, you can call me Ray. It's actually my whole name, Ray. No middle name either. I think my parents could only afford a few letters. How you feeling, champ? Like smashed assholes. That's a powerful image, honey. Okay, uh, Ray, thank you so much for being on duty. Um, she gets her next pill at 7.30. She does. Happy to be of service. All right, uh, I won't be late. I'll say hi to Judy for you. Bye. Have fun, Mommy. Make sure somebody walks you to the taxi. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Go lie down. I'm on the case. Well, then what happened to your cast? It's not time yet. I'm fine. Only one patient at a time. Are you okay? It's so scrawny and pale. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Okay, yeah, calm down, shit. Okay, okay yes, yes, I, w I will come. I'm on my way. All right, bye. Hey, what's the deal? Are you okay? I'm fine. You sounded pretty upset. Well, uh, <laughs> I've got problems. Well, tell me what's going on. You remember the rum? Yeah. Well, the guys that I borrowed that money from are coming to collect. I don't get it. You need me to be a witness or something when you give them the money? I don't have the money. I need you to tell me if they're the ones who jacked you. Hold up. I got put in the hospital over some money you borrowed, and now you're going to put me in the middle of it again? I'm almost positive that's not what happened. I didn't see them, you selfish motherfucker. I had a fucking grocery bag over my face. Yeah, but you might be able to tell me if it could be them, just based on size or voices or whatever. I am leaving. Look, they're gonna be here any minute. You wanna run into them in the hallway, huh? I cannot believe you did this to me, Alex. Look, this could be it, Cassidy. I might be able to get our money, and it could be a lot. Like, <laughs> way more than what we, we thought. You're an actress, right? Put your game face on. You were an ass white. We need a signal. If you think it's them, then cross your arms like this. Where do you get this shit? Okay, be cool. And get them to talk, okay? Get them to talk so we can hear their voices. We need to be sure. Okay, come on. Who's this? Cassidy. Cassidy. Cassidy, could you excuse us, please? No, I don't think so. Hello. Hey. I'm Cassidy, what's your name? Malik. Malik. Where are you from? Atlanta. I got the worst case of food poisoning there. What about you, what's your name? Quincy, and I'm from Delaware, pretty lady. I don't have your money. Why am I here then? Oh, he is really an enigma. I'm not giving you a nickel until you give me my goddamn stones. Oh, I already explained I don't have anything for you. Okay, quit fucking around. You think I'm some kind of trick, huh? You can just run game on me? Alex, it is not them. Are you sure? Wait, not who? The fuck is going on here? Dad, uh, take your friend and get out of here now. I have business to take care of. Cassidy, what are you doing here? How's your arm, honey? You should be relaxing. Take her home, Alex. Ah, uh, I'm okay. Just a little sore. Who are these people? This is Quincy and Malik, and I don't know who this handsome devil is. He works for me. Sorry, Pop. I didn't know you were gonna be here. 
Wait a second. Little Papa's white. Oh, you're funny. Anthony didn't tell me you were funny. What are you doing with my father? He has nothing to do with this. What are you talking about? Anthony makes collections for me. Oh, you borrowed money from a gangster? Excuse me? No offense. Why didn't you come to me? I have a better question. What are you doing showing up here with him in the middle of the goddamn night? Business. Hold on to that. What happened to your arm? Broke my wrist. Oh, you're the schlepper. Those idiot Mexicans beat you up. Excuse me? Get her out of here. I can't have her talking to her mother about my business. What kind of business do you have with that guy? Has it ever occurred to you that I know what I'm doing? What's going on right now? What's in the envelope? It's like you've learned nothing from me. Keep your mouth shut. Say you understand. I, I don't understand at all. Sweetheart, it'll all be over soon. Let daddy work. We're gonna settle this right now. What does he owe you? 36. How much of that is juice? It's about half. You taking my kid for a ride? He's grown up, it's business. Call it 22. Add it to your end. You set me up. You had some guys beat me up and steal the stones? I'm sorry, honey. Please don't tell your mom. They went way overboard, but it had to look real. There's gonna be plenty of money for everybody. Did you know about this? What do you think? Uh, I think maybe I should call the cops and report an insurance fraud. That's what I fucking don't do think. That. No, no, put that away! Oh, put that away! Party! Okay, okay, okay. You're annoying me now. No one's going to the cops, okay? Everybody just stay calm. You set me up, Barry. Don't insult me. You give me 60 cents in the dollar. Take the stones and go. I'm gonna take the stones and I'm gonna go. Okay. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. Anthony, am I forgetting something? I don't know about it. Artie, we've been doing this 30 years. I've always been straight with you. In the end, you gotta take people at their word, even though it doesn't work. I knew it! Oh. God, oh my God damn it! Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's this asshole? He's my boyfriend. Oh, God. oh my God. I'm calling an ambulance. Put the phone down. Okay. What, you're gonna shoot everybody? Start with me. Pop, we need to go now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I need an ambulance to 5 South Wabash, 10th uh, floor. The man's been shot. Artie, you've always been a stand-up guy. Leave me that bag of money. Your kids even. Anybody else who wants to keep waking up in the morning better keep their mouth shut. What the fuck have I done? I woke up and you were gone. I thought you might be meeting him. I didn't know this was whatever the fuck this was. Oh, it's, it's about the robbery. He set you up. No. I don't know what you're no, talking that's about. No, not true, Rick. You think we're fucking stupid? You think we're some fucking idiots who believe whatever shitty lie you come up with? You set her up. Hey, asshole. We were setting you up. Yeah. Me and Cassidy, we were going to pin you for the robbery, and then we were going to keep the stones, and we were going to split the profit. Huh? What do you think about that? You were gonna steal from me? Gosh. Dad, it wasn't like that, Ray. What was it like? Anybody in here have a weapon? No. I wish. All right. We're clear. What happened in here? We were working we late, and these two Colombian guys came in with guns, and Cassidy's boyfriend surprised them. They shot him, and they uh, took off. How long ago? 10 minutes. You get a look at these guys? Yeah, black sweatshirts with uh, hoods. You know, red bandana on one of them. The other one had some kind of wrestling mask. It was blue with yellow lightning bolts. How do you know they were Colombian? They were speaking Spanish. Racist. He's a racist officer. You should probably shoot him. I won't say anything. I'm riding in the ambulance. Family only. Family only. She's not in my family. Ray, this is not what it looks like. You know what your problem is? You lie to yourself constantly. Just be honest for once. You don't give a shit about me, and you never did. That's not true. I love you. 
I don't care what anyone says. You are a good actress. It's all fucked. I've ruined it. I really love your mother, you know that, right? We make each other laugh. Might seem like a small thing to you, but it matters. Especially when you can see the cliff up ahead. We weren't going to be rich or anything. Just enough to keep some groceries in the refrigerator, buy some sunscreen. Maybe get a little shack on the beach and sell t-shirts. Now I get nothing. God damn it! Carry me out of that office in a plastic bag. This was your whole retirement plan? You have no other money? It's gone. I worked my ass off to pay off 30 years worth of debt so I could give you the business in the clear. Now I've got garnished. If I don't find 32 grand by day after tomorrow, I lose a condo in Fort Myers and the escrow money. All I wanted to do was give my son a business, make your mother happy. Mm. You're so noble when you hired two guys to break my arm. Were you just thinking of everybody then, too? Let's not forget you two were planning to rob me, okay? Don't act like you're better than me, neither of you. Let me out here. Sorry, honey, I'm sick about it, but it had to look real. Now, you can tell your mom about it if you want to, but you're going to be wrecking a good thing. Really good thing. I don't know how the hell I'm going to tell her about Florida. I'm sorry, but it had to look real. Are you going to tell her? She'd never forgive him. The department store where my mom works has that uh, white, ugly, fluorescent light. Nobody looks good in that light. Nobody. I think they do it on purpose so that you hate yourself and buy makeup or a new dress or something. Anyway, I was there the other day and I saw her hand in that light and See those little blue veins under her skin? She's going to be an old lady soon. I cannot leave her there behind that counter taking shit from people for the rest of her life. I have to do something to just talk about it. Your dad is no prize, but it's a way out at least. I can't let it evaporate. Where are you? I went out. <laughs> I come home to an empty house? You don't even answer your phone? Uh, the, the battery is dead. I'm fine. Well, well, where's Ray? But Mom, what do you want from me? There is something going on. What is it? Whatever it is, you can tell me. And I want the truth. I'll take an old style. Come on up. Where's your bathroom? Down at the end on the right. You, you do 
tell Pop I need to talk to him, please? Excuse me? Lil Pop, tell him he has a visitor. I don't know who that is. Tell him it's the Schlepper. What are you doing here? Did you flip the stones yet? What's it to you? I have information that is very important to you, but I expect to be compensated. How about you tell me what it is, and I'll compensate you by not cutting you up and putting you in a dumpster behind a hot dog stand. I uh, posted a picture online of me sitting at your bar. Local news loves a dead white girl. You wouldn't mind a few reporters and cops around here, would you? You're so clever. I'm trying to do you a favor. Why, because my gun felt so good up against your head? We're best friends now? You think I'm a fucking idiot? Your friend Barry put me in the hospital as a prop for the insurance company. You think I'm gonna just say no problem, go get a waitressing job? You give me $5,000, I save your ass and fuck him over at the same time. How about I'll give you $100 if I think the information is useful? 5000 cash in the next 30 seconds, or I walk out of here and you take your chances. Get back here already. Jimmy Olson, let's have it. Barry Handelman is working with the federal government. They have audio recordings of you discussing the price and video surveillance of you receiving the stones in the office. The fuck would he do that? He's the one who ripped them off to start with. Oh, one of the Colombians got pinched by the INS and rolled over on him. Barry got arrested for insurance fraud and conspiracy, so he gave him you. No chance. You're gonna cross and sue St. Marie and sell them in Toronto. That's interstate something and uh, international diamond smuggling, right? And here's the real pisser. The stones that gave you are fucking fakes anyway. You're full of shit. It's your funeral. What's this? She's telling me a story. She says, uh, Barry's working with the government and the stones are fake. That's nonsense. Right, they're real. How do you know? Are you an expert? Well, uh, I sell jewelry of uncertain provenance. I have methods to ascertain if a piece is a fake. Mm -hmm. Method sounds serious. Look, can I take a look? glass with it or something? With my keys, cut glass. First, breathe on it. 
Yeah, if it stays fogged up for more than a second, it's a fake. No, that's clear. Okay. All right, that's a good sign. Shit, try this. Oh, is this the garbage test? Lay that stone down on its flat side. Okay, now, if you can read the newsprint through the stone, it's a fake. No, I can't see shit. Let me see it. Back up. Yeah, it looks real to me. Go ahead, let us see it. Are you sure that's even true? Absolutely. All right, now hold it up to the light. See that sparkle? Now, anything can sparkle, right? But how you can spot a fake is that it has no flaws at all. Now, do you see any little spots? Any little marks in the middle? Maybe, down in the pointy part? Let me see it. No, I still don't see shit. Uh, right there. That's a real dime. Oh, man, you don't know what you're talking about. Get her out of here. Amateur hour's over. Get my money back. We had a deal. Are you fucking kidding? No, he's not. Welcher! You're hurting my feelings now. This is some bullshit! So is. Turn around. Dude, I can make my way out, all right? Oh, you can? Yeah. Yeah, I can't. Stop fucking following gotcha. me, man. Stop fucking following me. All that hey, fucking hey, talk. your boss is an asshole. Don't listen to her. Keep fucking moving. <sighs> nice job. Yes, of course it is. Okay, I'll get the good. Yeah, I'll see you tonight. Yes, also, you better tell Alex that I want my end in a briefcase. Okay, I'm a businessman. Yes, you sir. You like that? Yes, sir. Okay. I know. Have a good one. That's my money. You understand that? Mine. But I'm gonna let you hold it. You're gonna buy that condo, you're gonna put my mom's name on the paperwork next to yours, and you're gonna send me a copy. And if you try anything Shady Berry, anything at all, I'm gonna call the cops and I'm gonna report you for insurance fraud. Capiche? I don't know what to say. Thank you. What about Pop? Just stay away. He thinks you're in witness protection. What happens when he comes looking? He got two stones. He's walking away with a boatload of money. He's not coming after you, especially because he thinks the feds are watching. I know him. He'll just come to the office. The movies are going to be there tomorrow morning. I'm returning the stuff on memo and selling the rest to a tomb. Looks like there's going to be 8,500 left over. Congrats. You made a profit, old man. Keep it. I'm just sorry that's all there is. I wanted to leave you set up. Your guilt is present enough. Welcome. I put that one. Who put this? Yeah, but I didn't if you put, put the, these Give me two this. Boxes. It's got to go in back now. Well, okay, fine. Is it? I don't think it's open. Open the door. I don't have. The, I don't have the keys. You have you, the keys. You came down without the key. <laughs> I was just thinking about. All the hours I spent looking out this window, wondering what was going to happen next. Well, now you know. Mm. Well, goodbye. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, Dad. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Oh, girl. Oh, I love you so, so, so much. This is going to be great. Okay. I'll call you when I get there. Please do. Can we go? I'd like to make it to Memphis by nightfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess it begins. OK, goodbye, baby. Goodbye. Goodbye, I love you so much. Oh, my gosh. I'll call you as soon as I get there, OK? All right, don't forget about me. Yes, call a lot, a lot. Put your seatbelt on. Crazy kids. <laughs> so uh, when are you leaving? This afternoon, just cleaning up a little so she gets her security deposit back. 
you, uh, you have enough for your trip? Mm hmm Even got months rent left over. We didn't get rich, did we? Not yet. Maybe I'll see you in Fort Myers at Christmas. second. Excuse me. Yeah. I don't understand. I have the rest of the money right here. I'm getting out of this goddamn city and I just want to pay it off. Man, I'd love to take it, but it's already been paid. I sold a brought a Corolla like three days ago and she paid off the whole note. You're saying some random stranger paid off my note. Maybe you have a secret admirer. Bullshit. I'm a grown man. It's my dad. I'm paying it off. Okay, well, you have to go pay her yourself. She left a forwarding address for the title. It's in California. California. They're ready for you. Hi, I'm Marilyn. Hi. Hi. All right. You can start whenever you're ready. Hi, I'm Marilyn Tracy. Doctor, have the lab results come in yet? I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh, God. My poor baby. It seems your husband contracted a parasite while he was in Africa. Well, that explains it. The sweating, the hives. We may have to consider a transplant. We need a donor, and we're running out of time. Doctor, I have an idea, but he can never know. We have a son. Thanks so much, Marilyn. Thanks. Bye. She was good. I liked it. <laughs> 